All right, so what I'm going to show you now are two different ways of calculating how long of a uh, hose you need inside of your keyser and also what pressure you should be uh, setting your regulator to to maintain the carbonation that you want. First step is to figure out what amount of CO2 do you want in your beer? What volume of uh, carbonation? So here's a quick reference guide right here. Uh, depending on what style of beer you're serving. If you have a lager, you might be one somewhere between 2.4 to 2.6 uh, volumes of CO2. A, uh, another little bit better way of doing it, uh, I think, is to go to Brew United. They have a really good priming sugar calculator here. And under the target beer style, you can see they put in a ton of different beer here. So let's say we're going to serve a Kölsch. And uh, you can see it's between 2.4 to 2.8 volumes of CO2. Let's say we want 2.6. And uh, what we do from there is to figure out what amount of pressure do we need to put on the beer to get 2.6 volumes of CO2. And that's going to be directly related to the temperature that the beer is stored at. So you need a chart like this. So we want 2.6 volumes of CO2. Let's say our keys are sitting at... 40 degrees. So we just go over to 40 degrees here, match it up with the 2.6, and then you get 13.5 psi is what you need. And that's for at sea level. All right. Then you take the type of um, tubing you have. Most likely you have 3 sixteenths tubing, such as this one. This is an ultra barrier uh, 3 sixteenths, very flexible and nice. And you find out how much resistance does it have per foot. This one has 2.2 pounds per foot. You want those two to equal out. So you just bring up a calculator. You started with 13.5 um, PSI. And you want that to be balanced out by the 2.2 pounds that you have here. And you will then get the length that you need of your, for tubing. So you see this one, you should have 6.13 feet of tubing to get a reasonable flow out of your keyser. And that is the down and dirty, easy way to calculate it.